So, you want to create some special shapes in Blender? Well, I can help you out with that, but we're going to need a couple of things first. Step one, grab a beach ball. Step two, let's go to the beach. I'm tired of this life. Hey guys, I'm back to this by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to make some unique shapes, some abstract-like shapes in uh, Blender. And we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Now, it's super easy. Uh, it just takes a little bit of creativity. So I came up with this really cool uh, looking shape. I'm going to get rid of everything, by the way. So just hold down shift, grab those, hit delete on your keyboard. Uh, I'm going to grab the default cube and hit tab to go into edit mode here. And then we're going to go ahead and right click and then go bur bevel. Bevel? Wow, that's that's a new one. Bevel vertices. And you can go ahead and click that. And you can see when I move my... Uh, my mouse around it kind of bevels those those vertices and kind of kind of creates some triangles which is really cool um makes some really, really nice looking uh, edge to like it like this but we're gonna go even further with this and i'm gonna go ahead and go to my numpad which is the um the the numbers on your right hand side of the keyboard i'm gonna go ahead and hit point one actually sorry i'm, I'm, I'm hit, uh just one on that so right click bevel and then hit one uh on then we go ahead and enter and then that will uh, go ahead and confirm our bevel. So now we've created like this really weird looking shape, but I'm not gonna stop there. So next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit tab, go back into edit mode. We're gonna, we're gonna face select mode up at the top here. And we're gonna select all of these triangular pieces around the edge like this. So all of these, hold down shift, select those. And then these down here as well, hold down shift, select all of these pieces, not the, um, not the squares. Not the diamonds, not none of that, just the triangles. So there should be eight of them. Four on the top, four on the bottom. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and hit I to inset this and then just kind of scale it in like that a little bit like that, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit E and then hit S and then scale them inwards and just pull my cursor like that. So that looks really cool. Really, really cool. So now we have some holes in there, which looks pretty nice. Um, but we're going to go back into edit mode by hitting tab again. Uh, and then we're going to select all of these squares, all the squares. And select all those hold down shift to select them all there we go I think we have selected them all successfully there we go and I want to hit uh, right click and then actually I'm sorry we're gonna go back to vertices select mode right click and then we go bevel, bevel vertices again you can see it's gonna create this really weird looking kind of thing where it makes like these kind of arrowhead looking things so I'm gonna go almost until they connect as you can see like if you look right right here you can see they're almost connected but not fully so that's really cool now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select all of those we just created um, face select mode grab all of these little arrow pieces and I'm just going off like the dome here like I'm just uh, I'm just creating something unique you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing of course like I said we're just making some weird shapes we're just making some weird shapes so there's quite a few of these hold on ship to select them all there we go I think that's the last batch uh, yeah that's the last ones alright cool so same thing here we can go ahead and hit I to inset a little bit and then hit E to extrude, but I want to extrude them outwards, so hit S, and then pull your cursor up like that, so they kind of go out, which looks really cool, right? There we go. And then finally, I'm going to select the big uh, the big squares once again, and then we're going to go ahead and do something special with these. So uh, I'm going to hit I to inset, pull them in like that, and then hit uh, E to extrude, and S to scale them inwards like that. Really, really cool stuff. There we go. So now, this looks really strange, and it looks really cool, but I mean, like... It looks kind of harsh and kind of weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, modifier tab and hit add modifier. And we're gonna choose subdivision surface. Now what this does is it, it just subdivides everything. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, turn the levels up to maybe like three on both of these. And then we're gonna hit object shade smooth. And as you can see, we now have a really really cool looking unique kind of shape here. Um, and we can just keep doing this over and over again. We get different uh, get different types, different whatever. I'm gonna give this a, a material real quick. Um, this is really like maybe like a coral. It looks kind of like coral to me, so let's go ahead and go with that. Um, there we go. I like it. It looks really cool. We can do this with multiple different things. Like I said, you can do this with any shape. I'm gonna do uh, uh, another one with a. Uh, let's do one with a Taurus. Why not? Let's do it with a Taurus. All right, I'm gonna move this over here. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is a special way. So I hit seven to go into my top facing view. And I'm gonna select all these bands by holding down shift and alt and then just double clicking until I get it to go uh, side to side like that um, and all of these as well nope not that control Z if it uh, selects the loop like in a circle like that instead of up and down um, select these as well there you go and on the other side as well there we go um, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit I to extrude and then maybe a about right there and then hit E and S to scale them upwards so they kind of go out like that, which looks really cool. I could also go ahead and change 
my uh, up here, I can change this to individual origins and then hit S to scale them up so that they stay there, which is what I'm going to do. So that looks really cool. I like that. Um, and then perhaps, I believe it's these. I'll select the ones in the middle of these. So hold on Shift and Alt to select the ring loops, like I'm saying. You can see me doing right here. I believe these are all in the center. Now you go to the top facing view to make sure. Uh, yep, those look like they're all the middle of everything. Thing. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Alright, cool. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to go inwards. So I to inset, and then E to extrude, and then S to scale them inwards like that. So it's thinner, which just looks really, really cool. I really like the way this looks for some reason. It looks like some kind of really cool mechanical part. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface, and then just bump it up to like maybe two or three, and then object shade smooth. Now this one looks really, really cool. And this technique of just like extruding and, and, and scaling and insetting works so well. As you can see, it's just crazy. Now with all these selected, I kind of want this to be more hard of an edge. So I'm going to hit I to inset this again, and then just like pull it all the way up. So it's like, like that, that, there we go. So now those are like hard edged, which is what I wanted to begin with. Now, very, very cool stuff. This is, like I said, a very nice way to get some really unique shapes. Um, I don't know what you'd be making, but whatever you'd be making, uh, whether it be something that's metallic like this, I'm going to turn down the roughness, turn down the metallic a little bit, and we have an, you easily have some kind of part there. Of course, you can go ahead and harden up these edges even more by going ahead and selecting each part where you want to be harder, like these, for instance, and then hit uh, either Control D to bevel them, and then just have it out like that. Actually, wait, I should be doing the lines only. I only do the edges for this because I don't want everything else to be uh, beveled. So there we go, uh, and then we can bevel that, and then have it be sharper on the edge. As you can see, that works like a charm. I'm gonna go ahead and do. The, I'm gonna select all of these, holding down Shift and Alt as well. Again, select all these edges. There we go, and then hit uh, Control B. And then there we go. Have it around the edge. So now those are harder edges. Now those are harder edges. Sorry. So as you can see, like I said, you can get some really, really cool shapes with using some of these techniques here. And it's just like it's so it's so like diverse. You can like we just made this and this with the same exact techniques. That's just crazy. That's crazy. Like that's insane. So let's go ahead and do one more. And I want to do one more because I want to show one last uh, little, little trick here. Um, I want to go ahead and use an icosphere. So let's go ahead and hit uh, G and Y to move this over here. G and Y. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit tab. Go into edit mode. I'm going to select every other triangle. So all of these, right? So all of these ones that are not touching each other. But like only on the edge. Wait, that's not right. I've missed. I've, I've missed something. Wait, pause. Not these. This one. No, that's right. Okay, that's what I did wrong. I'm gonna select like this little starfish, right? And do the same thing on the bottom. So we're not gonna select three of those. We're gonna select all of these. There we go. And then uh not I'm trying to see which ones are the ones I want to take. These ones and all of the way around. Okay, cool, there we go. Alright, so I've I've fixed it. So hold on we hold on shift and we'll just select all these pieces until we wrap back around. So it's like every other one essentially almost basically, right? So I'm mean, gonna I to inset like we've always done. Hit S to I'm sorry, hit uh, E to extrude, then S to all right, we have to put this back on median. Uh, hit uh, E to sorry, S to scale them inwards or outwards, but I'm gonna do inwards for this. Um, and I want to use one more technique. So let's grab all of these ones around the top here, around the top edge, um, and also the bottom edge down here as well. These ones that are grouped together in twos like this, across the side. And grab all of these. And instead of extruding and instead of scaling and instead of instead of doing something like that, what we're gonna do is I want to go ahead and we will inset this again. But first, we're gonna go ahead and hit I, and we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, da, 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 poke faces. And as you can see, that's created like some really crazy looking kind of things going on here. Now, what I want to do with this is I'm gonna go to face select, sorry, vertices select mode, and grab all the vertices it just created. So it created the like this little piece in the center. I'm gonna grab all of these pieces just those little vertices in the center grab those there we go and this is gonna give us a nice round look you'll see in a moment so let's go ahead and do that and then hit S to scale these up and then now we have like these literally cool looking like polka pokey triangles which is really nice Did I miss one I missed one oh well make sure you don't miss one <laughs> 
All right, uh, I think I've got them all now. All right, let's hit S again to scale them all upwards like that. And then now they are all poking out, which looks good. All right, cool. Um, and finally, I want to go ahead and grab this piece in the center, in the top, in the bottom, sorry. And then just hit S, Z to scale them downwards like that. Now, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to go ahead and hit um, modifier, add a modifier, subdivision surface, and bump it up to like a three. And there we go. Object, shade smooth. And as you can see, we have that those nice little lumps coming through of the vertices we pulled up and that creates a nice little like softer kind of round edge looking thing which looks really really nice so i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it um let's go ahead and make this one yellow because it reminds me of a, bee of a beehive let's go ahead and do that uh, spongebob no way didn't even think of that holy moly looks like spongebob gosh dang bro look at that insane anyway like i said hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one just we've created some really really weird looking shapes with basically the some very strange techniques but listen they work really really well and i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed uh taking a look at some very strange techniques to get some cool effects so i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye